Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this thing. As you can see it's just a simple intro with a couple of particles, some screens going on and some text, a bit of tech effects and nothing else, mostly it's just camera moves and particles and text flying, out, flying in and out without some screens and nothing else. It's pretty simple and I made it for a friend long ago, he was pretty happy with it. He, I think it will take like, I don't know, maybe two parts to finish this or or more, I don't know, maybe less. This is, I'm just going to explain everything, how to make the camera movements, how to organize your composition so you don't have any weird motion blur box. I will explain that later, especially with this part, and that's basically it, so let's just get started. First of all, what you need to create is a composition, just a folder, and then a subfolder instead of composition, call it subcoms for instance. And we're gonna face, and first of all we're gonna create the composition, how long we want it to be, etc. I'm just gonna choose uh, 50 seconds now. And we're gonna choose Heidi TV. We're gonna call this main. And we're just gonna leave it there. We close it for now. We're gonna go to sub compositions and we're gonna create a new composition and we're gonna call this screens. We're gonna make we're gonna put it inside of our folder called screens as well. Then inside of screens we're gonna create a screen. So to do that we just take the pen tool, we're gonna create a, a form, so just draw something crazy or whatever. We're gonna use the guidelines, so you press comma if you want to see the guidelines, so just go here. Title action save, if you click here you can see it or not. So, I'm just gonna click here and make a form. Something simple, it must be really difficult unless you want to make it really cool and I don't know just make something abstract so I have the form now as you can see it's just black and I can stop this part so I'm just going to put it that's fine so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna duplicate this layer. We're gonna call first this one. Well, wait, duplicate first. Call this one stroke and call this one fill. So in the stroke one, which, which we're gonna take out the fill. <coughs> we're gonna put it to none, and then we're gonna go to stroke and we're gonna stroke it. I'd say five pixels will do. Then we go to fractal noise. We're gonna put a fractal noise on it. <coughs> And we can take the title save off. <coughs> and now we're gonna go to evolution. We're gonna put time times 256. So now the noise is evolu uh, evolutioning, or I don't know, <laughs> moving through time. Okay, now we're gonna go to the effects and presets and type tint. We're gonna do drop the tint into the Torque layer. I'm gonna select the white and we're gonna put it to blue, ah, light blue or something like this. Okay, now we're gonna go to FX and presets again and we're gonna type uh, glow. We're gonna go to glow, stylized glow. We're gonna drop that and then we're gonna drop the threshold a bit, like so, something like this or you know, less, something like this. We're gonna take the contrast a bit down and the brightness a bit down as well. And now maybe the brightness just turn in. Like, like that. Yeah. Okay, so now we have uh, a nice stroke moving, so it's animated. It's not that static now. And now we're just going to make like a sort of 
reflection or something. It's not a reflection actually, this is a drone. So, put this under this layer and call it um, something called, uh, actually just call it highlights. Okay, now we're gonna take the fill, duplicate it, put it on top, and put this up. Now we're gonna go to the mode here, if you don't have it, just press F4, and set it to stencil alpha. So you set it to stencil alpha, and you wanna put that under the stroke, but on top of the highlight. Now I go to the highlight and put it at 10%, that'll do, yeah. Okay, now just save the project. <coughs> and in this example I had uh, multiple screens, so I don't know, I'm just gonna create one, two, three, four screens. So, go to the screens, control plus D and duplicate it four times. So you have four screens, one, two, three, four. And now let's go to our main composition. Now we have the screen, so we're gonna start building up our scene. So we create a new camera. We're gonna use a two node camera. And 35 millimeters will do. So uh, control D. Then we're gonna create a new node object. We're gonna call this control. We're gonna parent the camera to the node object. Something very old you should already know by now. It's the best way to control the camera is using a node object. There's another way to control the camera with multiple null objects as better, but just for this one we'll use the null object which is working fine for us right now. So before creating the particles and everything we're just gonna build up the scene with the screen so we just take I'm gonna take some footage first. So let's see. Can I go to my and take something random I don't know. I'll get this an extra and drop it inside of screens bring it down bring it down and put it to alpha mate and make it fit so it fits to the, to the screens so as you can see now it has a highlight and everything and it moves perfectly and it just fix the aspect right here That kind of sucks the best of this guy taking control. Oh, made again and scale resets. Perfect. So now we have one screen with this footage, with this video inside. You can get the screen too and obviously just put another video on it. For instance you can put this one up from it and then you have this one inside. But for the sake of this tutorial of this tutorial I'm just gonna select the same one and put it in the rest of the screens. So as you save a bit of time. <coughs> Right, now we have all the screens with the um, videos on it and everything, so we're just gonna drop the first clip, the first screen actually. We're gonna make it 3D, we're gonna turn the motion blur on as well, and we're just gonna change from one view to four views, bottom, or actually just put it on the left, so right, actually, left. <coughs> on the left. This is gonna help us build the scene really a lot, because it's the best one. The best way to see the different angles from the camera the scene itself. So as you can see we start from the left going to the right and stop there with a couple of screens in the middle. So we just gonna do the same thing. We're going to move the screen sort of like to that position. Like this. We're gonna duplicate it control D again and going to rotate it and just put it over there like so so when 
I just need to fix the camera a bit. Let me change to one view first, so I can kind of get the idea. <coughs> so I'll move the screen over there. This one over here. Actually, let me just duplicate this one. Put it over there so it gets like the real aspect. We keep the same sizes and everything. Right, what you want to do now is make the motion. So we're just gonna move like 10 frames only. Gonna click on position. Gonna move back. Gonna move the slider. Basically, right now we just have this movement. As you can see, it's a bit fast, so we're just gonna move it up a bit. Still a bit fast, so just move it up a bit again. Ah, it's too fast, too slow. Right, this will do. Make it easy, easy keyframes, so it starts slow and then it goes fast and then slow again. I'll check that. Perfect. Right. Now we're gonna create an audio waveform thingy. Go to layer. New and select the solid and comp size. Click on audio waveform and I'll put it white. And if you have some audio going on somewhere around here, which I don't right now, which is what I'm being there as because I need such one now. Select some audio, random audio and just put it so you can have <coughs> the other way for moving. This gonna choose um, this, is this one. We're gonna go to keyframe assistance and we're gonna convert audio to keyframes. So now we have the audio amplitude in this part. Obviously select the whole song, otherwise it won't. It won't just select the area you have selected with the slider. Go to keyframe assistance and select convert audio to keyframes. Now you have this null object over here with the left channel, right channel and both channels together. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the white solids, all this audio waveform. You're gonna click on uh, Audio offset first. We're gonna drag down this uh, parent. We're gonna choose left channel, and then we're gonna choose to go to audio layer, and we're gonna choose the edit laundry. So now it goes like this, as you can see. You can change the height and all of that stuff, really. So thickness and everything. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I don't really need to make anything fancy. So just leave it like that and make it 3D. Showing off, you got to cause a riot in this bitch. Still be hearing the fire alarm going off. You gotta watch it. I can't really got them on the train. 